Well, SAS is proud to be a longtime uh, trusted partner for the public sector and for government organizations. We are honored to uh, host this event with Con Con Concordia at our worldwide headquarters, and thank you all for joining us. Over the past few years, we have been tested in unexpected ways, from talent shortages and stressed supply chains to financial instability and questions about the future of work. Through these experiences, we have gained a new appreciation for resiliency and operating with speed and agility. With the rise of generative AI, shifting geopolitical conditions, and a U.S. presidential election on the horizon, we must be prepared to withstand widespread disruption. The question becomes, will we allow turmoil to slow us down, or will we seek, our, or we seek out new opportunities and evolve? As we face large-scale challenges, we must find ways to learn from each other and work together regardless of party lines or state lines. At SAS, we believe that solutions and opportunities can be found by bringing together data with AI and analytics, and it's important to do so respectively in ways that reduce or remove bias and provide trusted results that can be the foundation for positive change. While generative AI is relatively new, SAS has been in the AI space for many years. We've been helping organizations embrace artificial intelligence so that they can gain a competitive advantage and prepare for an uncertain future. We continue to lead the way with AI, and we are glad that our government officials see it as an important, uh, an important topic. The vice president of our data ethics uh, practice, Reggie Townsend, attended the signing of the U.S. Presidential Executive Order on AI last week, and, we'll, and we will continue to be involved as AI and the use of AI evolves in the years ahead. The advancement of this technology will have implications for all of us, our organizations, our industries, and our communities. It will also have a profound impact on the types of skill sets that people need in the future. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics expects 11.5 million job openings in data science by 2026. That means that data science skills will remain high, uh, be, will remain high in demand. Broader data literacy and analytical skills are essential for the future. That's why SAS continues to invest in educational forces that make data science skills accessible to everyone. In your discussions today, consider how AI and analytics could turn your data into viable solutions. In a world that is constantly changing, we know that the organizations that thrive will be those that have realized the value of AI. I hope that you have a productive meeting today and that you enjoy your time at our world headquarters. Thank you very much.